Hi folks, Sandy Hovetter here for Data Designs Publishing and we're going to talk a little bit today about guides in uh, Adobe InDesign. What you're looking at on the screen is uh, just a document I created for some training that we were doing, but there are a number of guides here. I wanted to use this as just kind of a jumping off place. These horizontal guides that are uh, teal or aquamarine. Those are guides that I have brought in and I'll show you how to do that. You can see that I've used this top guide to align the bottom of these top two images. I've used the next one to align the top of this larger image with the text box on the left and then the bottom two to align the text blocks in these three columns. Now this purple these purple rules that you see, those are column guides. So, so far there are guides that I pull down. I call those layout guides, but InDesign tends to just refer to them as guides. The purple guides are the column guides, and then there's also something called smart guides. Let's go to a blank page. I'm just doing an alt page down, and there's not too much on this page, so it's easier to see. Again, these are the column guides. You can change the colors of those if you like. That would be under Edit, Preferences. Uh, there it is. Where is it? Guides and Post and Pasteboard. And here you can set the color of all the different things that you see on the screen. I've left them as default, but uh, you can play with it if you like. I have this set up for a three column layout on my master page of the document. I'm going to go to my master page and change that to just a single column so that all of those lines aren't in our way. We're going to do that by going to layout, margins and columns and change columns th from three to one. So now the master page has just one column. We come here and that's reflected on the page of our document, pages two and three. I'll move this uh, palette over a little bit. Now, let's talk first about smart guides. Smart guides, if you have them turned on, they appear automatically to help you align elements. See those black rules that appear between the two uh, squares that I have as I move the one on the right into place? Those are smart guides. InDesign automatically uh, brings them in uh, or creates them as you're trying to align something. When I bring it close, it thinks, well, maybe she wants to align the bottom of one box to the top of the other, so it creates a smart guide. And you can see it creates them as I go along. If I were to go up here, it would create it at the top of the one on the left and the bottom of the one on the right. I find them to be annoying as often as they are helpful, and so I generally turn them off except for when I want them. And you can do that from the View menu. Down near the bottom, you see Grids and Guides and over here smart guides and you can uncheck that or you can use the keyboard command of control U. So I've gotten rid of them. You can see as I move my square now those smart guides don't appear anymore. What I want to talk mostly about today are the guides that you create and how you can create them. They're so simple and so helpful. You simply click in the in the ruler area and drag you can see I've just added this uh, one horizontal rule or guide. You can click in the, the uh, vertical ruler and bring it over. And I've brought in a guide from the, uh, that is a vertical guide. Now, up here in, this, in the Grids and Guides menu, you saw one of the options, or maybe you saw, is Snap to Guides. I almost always have that on uh, because it makes it so easy when you want to align something. It just kind of snaps. It's, it doesn't pull your object from far away, but as it gets near, it snaps it into, that, into place. Now, if you've got uh, some things that you want to align very precisely and, and that snap is bothering you, you can go back into that view menu, grids and guides, and turn that off just by selecting it or by clicking on it. Now, often when you have a double page spread, you're going to want to align things across two pages. To do that, you can bring down a guide by holding down your control key. It causes the guide to go across the two page spread. Just let it go and then release your control key. 
If you have a guide that is only one page and you want it to extend, simply select it by clicking on it and then holding down your control key. And now you can align things across the two pages. I love the feature of ruling lines that can, or guidelines that can go across a two page spread. There's another way to add guides and that is by double clicking in your ruler. If I double click, right there it added a rule or a guide right where I clicked. Now you can see that I clicked somewhere between these two uh, ticks on my ruler. If, if I hold down my shift key and double click, it will put the, the rule right at the nearest tick mark on your ruler. So again, let's say I wanted it at two and a quarter inches. I don't have to hit right on the quarter inch mark. Just get near it, hold down my shift key, and double click. And I now have one, uh, a, a guide that go, goes across the whole page. Guides are very helpful, and sometimes they're really annoying. You can select guides the same way you select objects. I just marquee selected it, which means I clicked and I dragged over them. You can see they'll change colors as soon as I release my mouse. They're all darker blue now, and I just hit the delete key and they're all gone. Let me get rid of this guy. And I want to show you something else. I want to talk about uh, consistency and aligning in a layout. I've gone to my master page and if I consistently want to start something, let's say at the one and a half inch place, I can bring a ruler, a guide down from the top ruler and place it on the master page. Again, I did that by going up to the ruler, clicking, dragging. I wanted to go across both pages, so I hold down my control key and when I get it where I want it, I just release. And so I now have two rules that go across the double page spread, and that's on my master page. You can see when I click back to the page I was on that those rules are uh, reflected on the master page. That allows me to easily align things, and if I'm working on a long document with many pages, it will allow me to align things at that same place on every single page. But let's say I've got one page where I'm trying to align something and it's just, just not working. This one is supposed to be near the top but not at the top and, and, it, and it keeps snapping. A couple things I could do, of course I could come up here into view, grids and guides, and get rid of that snap. All right, and I can place it wherever I want. But sometimes I've added a lot of ruling lines and and, and it, my page has just gotten so messy. I want to marquee select and delete them, but those ruling lines or those guides that are on my master page are still there. You can delete those as well. You select them the same way you select anything else from a master page, and that is by holding your control shift key down, selecting on the item. You can see that that has been selected because it's a darker blue than the one above, and I just hit the delete key this and I just hit the delete key and now those rules are no longer there. If I had deleted them but I want them back I can come over to my pages palette select the double page spread right click and say apply master pages and it reapplies that master page bringing the guides uh, up to the front uh, or bringing the guides back onto the pages Guides are incredibly helpful, easy to create, but if you don't know the trick, the one that took me a while to learn was remembering to hold down the control key to get a double page spread guide. That's it. Hope it's been helpful. If you have any questions, please feel free to give us a call or send me an email, sandy at datadesignspublishing.com. Have a great day.